thing seems to vibrate a little more. Could be that I'm just not used to riding it because I used to ride them every weekend. up on me. I was even looking in my rear view mirror. Silver cars hide well. So far I went six and a half miles almost. Didn't realize it. <laughs> oh. Well, at least it didn't flip over on me. Last time I had to spin it around. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell it on here, but this this bike, I swear it seems like it's louder now. Might get me a motorcycle style muff with it. Still lets it breathe, but knocks a little bit of the sound down. I mean, it sounds good. It sounds real good. <laughs> In fact, I've, I've listened to it on a, my computer. And on my computer, I have a 400 watt speaker set up. And uh, I mean, it sounds good. But it don't really sound what you would hear if you was sitting here on it riding it. Yeah, ever since that cop messed with me. These drum brakes always felt weird. I've actually uh, <clears throat> contemplated getting a Monster Moto wheel. That way I'd already have a setup to put a disc brake on there and switching it over to a disc. Might even go uh, hydraulic like the Monster Moto uh, 212 Pro.
rounded her off to seven miles. <laughs> I mean, even. Let's see where we're at. Oh, heck. Done hit 23 minutes. I was hoping to keep it in one video, but went well past that. <laughs> like I say, it flips at 17 minutes. loud as this bike is I hate to ride it on these roads too much because somebody might uh, know somebody <clears throat> and get the heat on me That little one get up to about 25 from about that little crossway just past them trucks to here. This one will hit 30. Might even eat uh, 32 out of it by the time I hit that little crosswalk where you can see it hops up. But, uh, yeah, she's a lot of fun. It's actually the first time I got it uh, uh, out and about real well this time, this year. Yeah, the winter wasn't harsh, but it, like, drug on. And uh, then the move. Yeah, see what happened was <laughs> when I did the video on where I put the uh, the uh, carrier together, I set this up on there and the tire kind of smushed in, in between there a little bit. And I let go of the bike for a second and it stood up. I mean, I, and I, I moved it and it felt like it was solid. So on the video where I show the thumb you know, on the thumbnail of the video where you can see this setting up on there I took that picture then I took another picture of it kind of catty corner then I got back and I was gonna show another one where you can see how the carrier stuck out from the car and everything better and, and then the bike just went and it uh <laughs> it hit right here smashed that mirror the, the, the housing and everything's perfect if I could pull this little mirror out of here and put it in the other housing and put that other bracket back on there, they'd match up perfectly again. Except for the Flyquick, whatever brand that is. Some Chinese brand, I assume. But yeah. Yeah, I need to get to, I need to find a place that's out in the, out, out in the boonies where the loudness of this won't bother anybody or I was contemplating, like I say, getting another, uh, they got a header that comes out like this. And then uh, I can get one of them like motorcycle style mufflers that are about yay long. And uh, it'll actually give it a little deeper tone but muffle it down some more. And it's still, uh, still uh, lets it breathe real well. There we go. Trying to get it out of there. Anyway, uh, like with all my videos, I hope you like them, and uh, hit the like button, subscribe, share it with your friends, maybe we can get them watching too, but uh, yeah, uh, soon, I don't know how soon, soon I'll take this cheap cover off of here, and you can see a jack shaft behind there, take that off hope I'm, I'm hoping I don't have to cut this out most people I see put a, a, a torque converter on they end up having to cut this out and this is a really thick frame but uh that's a brace to make everything more rigid and if you cut that out it's less rigid but I don't know if it's really gonna make much of a difference I see people do that and then they ride the living crap out of them and uh have lots of fun yeah it's this this thing you can uh, that's one thing about the
Coleman uh, BT200X. That's a big old bar on them frames. Uh, the other, the bars on the uh, the Pro 212 and the regular Monster Moto 212. I mean, it's a nice bike. There's, it's actually a nicer bike than this, if you ask me. But uh, and I planned on getting one, but uh, Monster, or, I'm, Rural King is where I was going to buy it. They had the best deal. That's where I bought the little Monster Moto. Uh, got it for two forty nine, and uh, the big one they had it for four ninety nine. That's the the Pro two twelve with front and rear uh, hydraulic disc brakes. Had a uh, the way it worked was had the uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah, it had the disc brakes on both both front and rear on this side, and it had a jack shaft right here that run off the torque converter back to the sprocket over here where my drum brake is on this one. And uh, had you know, shocks and everything, torque converter, of course, on it. I mean, it's decked out and everything for $4.99. That was basically what I bought this one for. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, they'll start selling them again and I can get one of them. Because if they do start selling them again and I, they go down to like $4.99, if they go down to $5.99, I'm buying it. Uh, hopefully. But yeah, I would have bought something this year, but I uh, bought a house and uh, closing and all that junk took up all that extra money that I would have bought it with. I was thinking about getting, I was going to get a scooter, something I could tag and get on the road and take you anywhere. And I, I, I still kind of plan on doing that because uh, it's just nice to ride around on the roads and not worry, not worry about the cops, get you riding dirty. But anyways... Yeah, like I say, if you like it, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, see a dot on there, so I'm going to clean these already. And I made it worse when I went like that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, subscribe and definitely hit the bell if you if you haven't subscribed yet. And if you have subscribed, make sure you hit the bell because uh, it's hard to get the uh, the notifications. And uh, share the crap out of it. Hope you enjoy it.